Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 2. Yep, you guys seem to like the last episode, so we're starting a new series again. So let's head into the workshop. Let's click this little flower down here so we get access to the secret world, the Polybridge classic world. And last time, we finished up in the Desert Winds, which means we're now on World 3 Snowdrift. Now, this first level is called Loopback. Uh, and looking at it, we've got a monster truck down here, so I assume we need to make him loop back and end up up there, whereas Flag is. Meanwhile, there's also another monster truck up there. So we're probably going to have to jump him over as well. Uh, let's press play and just... Oh, it's nighttime. And just... Oh, yeah, they've got some speed. Okay, now I'm sort of thinking there's probably two ways to do this. I have a feeling both are going to involve doing some sort of loop back. Um, but the one up here, I guess we could either, like, make this all one structure so we could connect, like, all of that into one thing, which would be pretty strong. Or perhaps we could do it cheaper by trying to do just I could jump like that for that guy. I might have to do this in steel. I just have a feeling it's going to be like really, really sort of strong. So we could do that sort of thing. We could use a rope probably like that just to hold that pointing up. Uh, so if we play that, you can see that's holding that in place. And ooh, I'll tell you what, that actually, that seemed to sort of work okay. I, I had a I had a feeling this guy would like be going so fast, he'd just smash through it. But he sort of he went up okay. Uh, whilst we're here then, shall we... Let's try and get this dude over. So we'll do a load of triangles. We'll stitch them together. So we've just made something called a truss. And then if we just do like that sort of thing, we've made like a wall brace there. So that point is now touching the wall, which should mean it holds all of this up. So if I press play, you can see that is now a jump. Ooh! <laughs> Well, that was, that was pretty good, I think. Yeah, so that bit breaks. So I reckon if we just move that down a bit. And then perhaps we could use reinforced roads here. Now, these are just roads, but stronger. Uh, some of you probably worked that out with the name reinforced road. But that guy's now getting over. Oh, actually, he made it. Now, I've noticed that bit of road is breaking every time. So if I actually, if I move that away, then the force, rather than going against the wall, which puts extra stress on that bit of road, that should actually make the force sort of come down the steel pieces a bit more. So I'd imagine one of these down here is probably going to break now. So, oh yeah, what was that one? That bottom one. Okay, now in order to make that one stronger, we don't actually have a stronger material. We're using steel, which is the strongest of materials. But if we, if we do that and replace it with that sort of shape and then just stitch them together, we've made something called a muscle. It's called a muscle because it sort of looks like a muscle. And basically, rather than the force going down one piece and just breaking it, the force is now spread along two separate lengths, which basically means I've made this sort of beam, if you want to call it that, twice as strong. However, obviously it does cost more. So let's see how that works. Oh, look at that. Works perfectly. And he landed perfectly. So for this, for the loop, I reckon let's just reinforce the road. Um, what I might do, I might actually, well, I might try and move all this like back here a bit because I feel like there's going to be a lot less stress uh, just because the monster truck won't have built up as much speed. If we go like there, let's just delete those and then and we can directly attach to that point. We then down here, could get rid of that, get rid of that, and then we can sort of brace this underneath. So if we do that sort of thing, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at... Oh, we, we didn't make it at all. I mean, we got one flag. Okay, well, I reckon then, shall we just try and, like, adjust him a bit? So if we do, I don't know that. All right, so now jump over. Oh, 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 they're close. They have touched. They have touched, but he's going to hit the flag. Yes. Okay, we did it. We did the level. All right, so looking at that, I can see I used just under 36 grand out of our 42 grand budget. Uh, we could always go cheaper though, so I'm not actually convinced I'm going to have done that well. Let's have a look in the gallery and see roughly where we placed. Oh God, and look at these most recent ones. We may have to censor some of these, editor. So 36 grand puts me pretty much on the middle page. Page four out of eight, which means I'm absolutely average. And let's have a little look at what you could have got for my sort of budget. So so, there's that one which has <laughs> they've gone all out on the on the truss in there this one where they've actually made a bridge like i i said we could have done Ooh, oh and they touch tips in the air so meanwhile the cheapest option eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight quid i don't even understand what i just watched let's play that again. Oh, did they... They flung that jeep over. Hey, I'm just looking at the first two. Yeah, look at this one. The what? <laughs> 
He did spring cannons. So this is one of the cheapest legit ones. It uses a ramp on the right side and then similar to what I had, but just made out of wood. It looks like in there, can you see they used a wooden a wooden rope? So I'm guessing that maybe that rope kept breaking. So they had to use wood instead. On the right, you can see they have used a muscle as well as a bit of steel in there as well. Anyway, let's go to the fun stuff to the last page. <laughs> Oh, man, what have I turned this game's gallery into? I mean, this one literally tells us what I've turned it into. <laughs> Look at it bubbling about. All right, I'm not sure what to call that part of this bridge. I guess the uh, the suspension counterweight. Uh, keep an eye on that when I press play. <laughs> Oh, they expand. Not nice. This one, which I think might be compensated. <laughs> the thing is with this one, I'm not even sure if it was like, if it was an accident that looked like that. I mean, that is technically how you want to do this one. Like, I feel like this one, it sort of looks like one of those things, but it's not meant to. Uh, this one, this one is definitely meant to, though. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Yeah, we've then got this one, which just has one of them in just because it can. Well done, Sean. Uh, this one, which... <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, look at it move. It's moving. Oh, it's making me feel weird because it moved. That one, which... Oh, look at the counterweight. That is a very... <laughs> very efficient counterweight. Well done, Paul. You are the best ever. And then we have some just actual people going a little bit mental. Like, what is this one? They both drive up to that point and then go flying. And there's even, there's even like a rope muscle in there. Uh, this one, yeah, that's just mental. What is going on there? <laughs> Why is there so much road in there? Like, there's... It bounces. Oh, they both hit that bit of road. Anyway, on to the next level, the triple split. And I think the idea here is we've got three different vehicles, all that go different speeds, and the three flags are on like different levels. So I feel like this one, you sort of do a jump and then the speed of the Ferrari means it hits the top floor. The taxi, which is slightly faster. So what is the Ferrari? It's going to go 16 meters a second and its acceleration is 10 meters. The taxi is 8.5 and its acceleration is six and the little car at the back goes four meters a second and it's like acceleration is only one so i feel like this is probably a trial and error one let's just see how fast do they go oh that car is slow let's do a load of flat road and then i feel like somewhere around here we might have to do like a bit of that perhaps i mean a little bit worried that that little car won't actually make it over that like it'll get stuck I mean, perhaps i could do that instead right anyway let's build let's build a bridge i don't think this will have to be too strong so i might just do this in like wood we just do triangles make them a truss and yeah, make these middle ones a little bit bigger just because that's where the most force is going to be because they're going to have the most weight on if we do similar but then only up to that point all right so something like that could work perhaps Let's press play and then see what happens. So car going for... Oh, it broke. Oh. <laughs> I love the little blue car like still goes in at the end. Um, okay, so that piece broke. I mean, I could just I could just steal that for now. Okay, let's just make the triangles bigger. Because if the triangles are like equal actual, it like shares the force out. So rather than all the force that's going through there and breaking the road doing that, it should be shared out a bit nicer. So perhaps... Yeah, there you go. That first bridge stood there like a butte. This one, let's try and make these equal lateral a bit. All right, so these these three pieces just kept breaking. So I've literally just replaced them with steel. That's okay. They were under 14 grand. We've got to be under 18. So let's see how this gets on. So that car... Oh, straight up top. Taxi. Oh, taxi did as well. Okay, so if this one makes it and doesn't get stuck, I technically did it first time. You absolute knob, mate. Architect of a driver, you are. All right, so let's try that. I've just tweaked that bottom bit. Taxi. Oh, taxi didn't make it up now. Oh, oh easy, guys. Easy. <laughs> Blue car really wants to get to his flag. Really wants to. Right, there you go. So they're both in now. Blue car lands on the ramp through the flag. Boost, we've done it. Come on, look at the most recent one. <laughs> oh, why? Why? I'm sorry, devs. Devs must hate me, honestly. Anyway, let's get in the gallery. So sorted by budget, 13,600 puts me on second page. Decent, so I'm in the top half. Uh, the cheapest one is this by Schmodgefeld. 
What? So think about it. He's getting the bridge down really close to this rock, which you can use to support. And therefore, you're using less material. Now, obviously, the cars have to go up a little bit higher. But look how efficient that bit of wood is. Like, there's barely any truss. I had to use steel. So this next cheapest one, this is most similar to mine. Basically, he just did it very, very efficiently. Although his bridge got absolutely mullered afterwards. Let's go to my favorite end of the gallery. Um, and first off, let's say hi to Gamer2. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he said hi RCE. That's cool. Uh, this one. Oh, actually, look at that. Look at that arch. It's got a nice little arch in there. And the roads are really curved as well. That's actually quite cool. Fair play, Spencer. Uh, we, of course, have this one to look at. English VR guy. <laughs> Oh, there's even, there's a swinging one over there. I reckon that makes all the difference to this design. Yeah, it actually knocked the red car up. Essential part of the design, I reckon. Let's go on to the next level. This is World 3, Level 3-3, three, three, Looper 3, 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. And up top, you can see we got 75 grand. Uh, we've got car A over there. We've got 8.1. Oh, 0.1. Oh, there's a 0 0.2 up there. We've got to end up down there. Okay, so essentially, as it says, we need to build a loop. Is this car really fast speed 25 meters a second i think the game sort of it wants us to do something like that and if we loop around to there somewhere i think we can probably put like a gap in like there ish so it's sort of a loop but it also has a gap in it so we'll see how this works uh, but first off we gotta we gotta try and make this work so i think to start with we're gonna just do like a truss around here so under here we're gonna go like that i feel like we're gonna we're probably gonna need steel for all. I mean, I feel like it'll be very, very surprising if I could get this to work in just wood. But I'll give it a go because I'm, I'm meant to be an engineer, right? So what I've got here, I've tried to make sure there's wall braces underneath. I've also tried to make sure we are connected to the actual anchor points. Like on this side, I've, I thought like that big ball, that's going to want like holding up. Hence, I've sort of made this like this pole, this stick. Um, So the theory is when we press play, Oh, it does actually hold together until until the car goes on it. Yeah, so let's just slow down the speed and then see what happens and when it breaks. Okay, so it's a little bit lumpy there. So I feel like I wanna want to try and move these a little bit just to tweak them. So that looks good. That looks good. And then, oh, it's like it's sort of as it leaves there. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's put some reinforced road in. Okay, that seems to work. And then that is a bit of a hard landing. So if I lift that up a bit, you want that to land. Oh, no, that's too high. That's too high. We want it to land as smoothly as possible. Now, I do have springs, so I could actually put like a little dampener on there. Like, for example, I could. Could I remove that completely? And if I just disconnect like all of that, put my truss in so it's not actually touching the road and then just put like a little spring under there. So now this bit has got like a bit of movement. So as it lands on that, I mean, we we, <laughs> we, we still die. It may have made it better. When we zoom out, it's like, yeah, but it's got potential. It's got potential. So that bit is the bit that's breaking. What if we just steal that for now? Again, I wouldn't mind trying to complete this all in wood. But um, let's just replace the breaking bits with steel and just see if, if it does sort of work. All right, so to be fair, we've got to the point where it's, it's like a rickety old roller coaster and it... Oh! It nearly works. I think we've just got to like adjust the old landing. So if I lift that up a bit... So it gets around there, it goes round fine. Oh! That was like... It's like perfect. It just... Well, not perfect. It, it did crash and die. But in terms of like where the car lands on that... Oh, that is good. That is actually good. Right, and I feel like, again, it might be worth detaching this bit of road from the structure. So if I put that in and then I put the road like there and then perhaps a spring like maybe like that. So we got a bit of suspension on that bottom bit as well. It's mainly just where where the car's being caught. Oh, oh, it's going to make it. It's going to make it. It didn't make it. Yeah, now I don't actually want this to be like a one use bridge. I do want everyone to uh, to use this where possible. But if it, if it fails, that is no good. Oh, actually, I've just realized as well, we're bloody, there's a star up there that we're not hitting. Oh, we're so close. Okay, so I've just lowered the top. This is full speed, by the way. We make it perfectly, but the bridge doesn't. No, I feel like that is not good enough. We need to actually, we need the bridge to survive. All right, so we've got it. We've got the loop. And oh, look at that. Beautiful. 41,393 quid. Let's have a look in the gallery. What? Someone did it for 11 grand. What? What? What even happened? What? So it went straight up, fell down. How did that not break? 
That is some proper cheesy cheesiness there. Now we got this one, which goes oh straight. Up. Look at that. That's actually decent. Like look at the arch bridge on underneath as well. That is a beautiful bit of engineering. Now we got this one, which has oh, what? That one, which oh gets that one. Oh, that's actually really clever. I tell you what though, look, they use the same stick thing that I did. Me and Perfax, we're basically the same level of engineer. Yeah, I'd be on the second page by the way, so I'll definitely take that. Pretty pleased with myself there. What is that loop? Look at that. It's tidy. It's tidy. That's quite cool. Yeah, but let's head to the last page and see some of the weird designs that took a lot of money. And the ones calling my name. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, then it's raining knobs. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and unexpected. Thank you, Starch Boy. Uh, we got this absolute mess of a loop. How is that going to get through? Oh, he literally... <laughs> It literally just destroys everything to make it through. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Epic Tog, what? How big is that? He's got like swings and... What? Well, it's still driving through it. It's still driving through it. It's like stuck in the nut. It's stuck in the nut. Okay, it's done. It's done. What was that? Uh, check out this loop. Oh, this is Damo and Jimmy Dog. I think they show like a little dog every single time. I, li I like these guys. A uh, very beautiful loop you got there. Uh, unlike this one, probably the ugliest loop bridge I've ever seen. <laughs> What is that? It's got to get some style points for the execution, though. All right, anyway, on to the next level. All right, so this next level is called Hydraulic Jump. Now, those that have watched me play Polybridge before will know I am not a fan of hydraulics. They confuse me. Civil engineering is meant to be stuff that doesn't move. Now, but anyway, what do we have it? We've got a camp van that goes at four meters a second. Uh, he goes first, and then we've got C, ooh, which goes very fast. So I'm sort of I'm sort of thinking, do I need to do the bog standard bridge sort of over to there? So that's a reasonably cheap bridge. We spent 4,269 nice quid out of our 15 grand budget. That should, I'm hoping, get that across. Yes, you are across. Yeah, and then we have you, which... Oh. <laughs> You just pushed the camper in. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing we probably want to try and like lift some of this up. Am I meant to have like another bridge like up there and then this lands on it, if that makes sense? I don't know. I think for now, shall we just we make that a hydraulic and then expand? We can make that a joint so that will flap down and this will go up. And then I guess we can just see like how that works. So basically, that's going to end up up there. There we go. And then we can see what sort of a jump that does. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, at least the camper was safe this time. Perhaps lifting the entire bridge up makes more sense. So I'll make that a joint. So I guess instead of that brace down there, we'll go above and we'll do that sort of thing. So we've got the world's jankiest truss. I can then get rid of most of that underneath and perhaps just swap that with a hydraulic. Maybe if I go to there, it will lift higher. I don't know. We'll try that and then we'll see how this works. So as long as that's got the strength to take that over, which it does, that will then raise up. Yeah, not by a lot, but we can perhaps move it to, I mean, over there. That would give us loads of height. Yeah, that's good. Although I imagine we're probably going to fail. Oh, no, it did. It held. It did hold. And um, I feel like what might be better, though, if I were to get rid of that and actually use this curve tool. So we go across there and then bring the curve down to so like that. We'll then fill in with road using a very, very specific engineering power. Which is electricity! And then if we shove our hydraulic there on max fatness, uh, then we should have like a steeper... Oh, it failed. And why did that fail? Oh, it's the back wheel. Okay, I can try and make these triangles bigger. That should make the road pieces stronger. Because basically the force on that will get spread out throughout the triangle more. I mean, alternatively, just replace the road with reinforced road. That's what it's there for. Uh, so now you'll see as this goes up, we've got like a nice smooth jump and that angle is a little bit better oh although not quite high enough okay so what about that i've just stuck like a triangle on top this will actually make my bridge stronger because we've got like a, a middle support now so i can probably go back to normal road to bring the old cost down uh, so we're on about 10 grand let's see is this strong enough to hold the camper yes just about and then i think because i've moved that point up yeah you can see the angle is a lot better does it have the strength to hold this 
Not quite. Okay, so I've just reinforced a few of the beams that were breaking. And look, we are very, very close. I think all we need to do now, uh, we've got anchor points up here. So sort of thinking, if I do just like a bit of road uh, and then just use the springs, we got springs. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking just like that should be enough. We'll have to see. All right, so here it comes. It's going to land on the... Oh, that was perfect. That was actually decent. Uh, we were so close to budget, though. Just like 57 quid below budget. Uh, but let's go into the gallery and see how we did. So sort by budget. Top person did it with four grand. How? How? Oh, they used... They used... What was that? <laughs> They use some sort of spring cannon. Oh, as well as dangling road. Uh, we've got a legit solution for six grand there. So that's like, what? It got up in one jump. There's just, I think there's a tiny bit of road you can see there. Uh, another, oh, we got one there with no hydraulics. That one. So, <laughs> so if you watch that again, you can see the camper van, it makes the flag and then drowns underwater. But uh, the jump still works for the monster truck. That's actually... Pretty cool. I like that one. I like that one a lot. And meanwhile, this one, we got to jump. Oh, and then it's got a bit that drops. So it has the strength for the camper van to get over. Look, you can see that bit. And then it drops so that the bridge can go higher for a jump. Oh, and it wheelies to the finish. Very stylish. Yeah, but let's head to my favorite page. Oh, we haven't infected this one. It's completely clean. We're not going to have to censor anything. Wait, what's this one? What is this one from Gang Balf? That oh, <laughs> why? Oh, it's all moving. It's all moving. Anyway, we nearly didn't infect it. Let's have a look at this. Chris Nugent. What is going on there, mate? He's got muscles for days. He's been hitting the gym hard. So there's a gap there for the, for the camper van to go through. And then truck. I assume that just makes that little jump there, does it? Yeah. Ooh, quite smooth. And a backflip for style. Well, half a backflip for style. Uh, this one we've got. Oh, look at it. Like bridges the gap. Oh, man, that got destroyed. This one. Oh, there is another knob. I was worried. I was worried the polybridge community was no longer efficient. But uh, yeah, we got a $30,000 solution. The most expensive one in the game. Oh, man, look at all the ropes he's used. How has he got that to bang on max budget? But decent, right? What is What is that? What? Oh, does that? Do you think that slows? Did that spring thing slow the camper van down? Is that what happened there? WLS gamer. Let's. Yeah. So boosh. I think it hits it on the nose, just to, like slow it down slightly. I mean, or down. Oh, look, there is another knob one. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, and there's one up there as well. See, I I do forget that sometimes they're hiding. Uh, that one definitely isn't hiding. <laughs> Oh, dear. Right, well, we've made our way through some of the levels of Snowdrift World 3 of Polybridge 1 in Polyception. If you want to see more, boost the like button. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying getting back into Polybridge. Devs may have forgotten about the game, but I haven't. And on that note, peace, love, and bridges. Bye!